Hi there, this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags and you're watching the weekly for October 3rd, 2018. This is your place for work, weekly worth, worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise and worship to the next level. So my, just to give you a heads up, my, uh, hey Rosie, um, I'm having a little bit of problems with my, my technical with my technical setup so if if I start to move down like this you'll you'll know why so how's your week going and how's your day going I am having a fabulous day because I got up and I did my hair and I feel like I'm having a good hair day so I think everything's just gonna look right and rosy today you guys having a good hair day having have you had your coffee how are you doing um so this week there's a few things that I wanted to talk to you about and I've been having some conversations some side conversations with a few of the fire catchers and I realized that I was probably going on a rant of things that I'm really passionate about and I wanted to share that with you this week crown for glory is one of the flags in the identity collection and I think that there's a misrepresentation about what glory is and what but what uh, what does the Bible actually say about glory? Who gets the glory? And and what, as Christians, what are we supposed to say about that, do about that? Uh, so are you actually crowned for glory? We all know the verse. I think that we're, well, we're pretty familiar with the verse. I don't even know if you know where it is, but it's Isaiah 42, verse 8, that says, I am the Lord, that's my name, and I will not share my glory with another. And we take that and like, oh no, it's not me, it's God, as if we can't take any ownership out of the things that he's created us to do, that he's put us on display, that he actually takes so much joy in, in seeing us excel. As a parent, you must be aware of when your kids are on stage and they're doing something, you are so proud of them. And it would actually hurt your heart when you say, no, no, it's, it's not you know, if they would say, it's not me, it's, it's all my parents. Um, you are, your DNA has, has enabled them to do that. They are, they are who they are because you've created them. And yet they are taking what they have and they are, they are doing, they're multiplying it. It's like taking the talents and multiplying it. So what do I, let's get back to glory. What does that mean? Who gets the glory? And so the, so Isaiah 42 verse 8, which is what we, we quote and we, and we shame, really, we shame other Christians in saying, oh no, you're taking the glory, don't take the glory, it's not about you. But let's back up and look at what the scripture is actually talking about. It's actually talking, prior to that, uh, God speaking through Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, is saying that about the idols, that he's not, that the, they were worshiping idols. And then at the beginning of verse, of chapter 42, it starts talking about Jesus, as that Jesus is the crown and glory. Like that is really the crown and glory. So when he says, the Lord is my name, he's actually giving the Jews at that point to say, you know what, something's coming and that's gonna be my glory. So when he says, I shall not share my glory with another, he's not talking about another person. He's actually talking about idols. And then we fast forward, so I'm just, I'm, this is like a, a massive topic that I'm super passionate about because I believe that as Christians, we believe, we believe so many lies that really hinder us and keep us from being on display. Being on display does is not, a bad thing. It is the thing that the father loves. I love to see my child excel in the things that he's that I that he's got the gifts that he has inside of him. I love that and the father loves to see that about you. It's not about taking his glory because actually Romans 3:23 says that we all fall short of the glory. So therefore that verse actually does tell us that there's something that we've missed. There is something that we haven't reached for. So it's not about the fact that we don't have glory. He has the glory and that uh, the glory that he has is actually in us. Colossians 1:27 says that uh, Jesus, the King that is lives in you, and He's the hope of glory. So you actually have glory inside of you. And then Isaiah 40, uh, where's my verse? I didn't write it down. What is it? 62:8. That says. Now I'm going from memory. You can you can 
you can correct me if I'm wrong. The Lord will hold you in his hand for all to see, a splendid crown in his hand. That's you, you have been crowned for glory. Who gets the glory? Jesus, through you, gets the glory. He loves that you're on display. He loves that you are crowned, that you are in his hand. That's the given of being a life in Christ. The given is that he he's not sharing it with an idol. He's actually sharing it and he's placed his glory on you. It's not even a shared that we as as sons and daughters reflect Jesus. We reflect the glory that's inside of us. And so uh, I have a lot more thoughts about that, but I but I just wanted to encourage you that if you're struggling with the be on display and the identity and who you are, uh, Ask the Father about it. Ask if he's proud of you and if he loves to see you do, multiply the talents that God has put in you and on you so that you can actually, then he can say, well done, good and faithful servant. A couple other things I wanted to let you know, the thing that what's trending. Uh, so we have Isaiah 62, three, thank you. I knew it was 62, I thought it was eight. So what's trending this week is the blue metallic. So. Uh, I think I believe that that actually speaking about uh, the gift of prophecy and that the prophetic voice is going out. It's such a brilliant blue. I love the blue. Uh, the other the other trending top uh, other trending flag is fire, which is always a bestseller. Overall, it's always been our bestseller. Uh, so it's no doubt that that the baptism of the Holy Spirit is is still really relevant for us. A couple of events that are coming up that you need to be aware of. Our next book, I know this is Facebook Live, so this is going to be backwards, but this is Chuck Pierce's book, uh, The Worship Warrior. Uh, that's going to be available on Amazon. Uh, I will get the link for you from Amazon. Hey, Evelyn. And uh, that will be on the 29th. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the last Friday of the month in October for this book. Kariana Alam, has, who's part of our Catch the Fire Worship Flags team, she is going to be hosting that again. She did such a great job last month and so she's going to be hosting the book club again. The 26th, right? Yes, it's my brother's birthday. At October 26th, we're going to be we're going to be doing book club and then the Fire Catchers Classroom, Rosie's going to be teaching. She's going to be teaching on uh, Rainbows in the Sky. That's, that's one of her her teachings on on worship flags and that is going to be the weekend after next so if this week is the sixth then it would be the 14th the 14th October 14th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time we'll have all of the details on the page and you really need to be part of the fire catchers group to be part of our our classrooms the 13th yes thanks Jennifer don't know what I really should write stuff out but I have this is my notes and I just didn't have enough room I realized I was running out the other thing that uh, you'll definitely want to be part of the fire catchers Facebook group is the gratitude challenge uh, so on Monday I'm Canadian as I think you well know that we celebrate Thanksgiving earlier that we do actually have a Thanksgiving weekend and it is Monday the 8th it's always the second Monday of October and between Canadian Thanksgiving and the American Thanksgiving we're going to have a gratitude challenge and daily post what you are thankful for and I it, it's really funny I had a team meeting with with Rosie and Kariana yesterday and Rosie I think the Holy Spirit's just been talking to us about gratitude and thankfulness it is kind of the season that we kind of think about it but a few years ago I had a I, did, I challenged myself to 365 days of grateful and I noticed there were so many so many positive changes to me personally I, my husband said he noticed that I would be, wake up singing uh, or laughing I would be I would wake up singing I'd be laughing in my sleep and I just had overall positive changes and so let's we re rewire our brains with a gratitude challenge so that's going to be in the group uh, and we're gonna have a daily post and so that you can add to that post things that you're you're, you're thankful for so it's roughly around seven weeks uh, and we invite you to participate in that and oh, I'm forgetting something. 
this is my, see, I don't have enough room. Okay, the other thing that I did want to tell you is that I did want to make sure that you were aware of, let's get connected. So if you're on Facebook, that's great. Uh, we have a super, super active fire catchers group. We have a great page where Rosie's doing a lot of fun things that she posts uh, that encourage us that makes us think that we can we can engage with so if you want to add a little bit more again i've i've mentioned a lot about the fire catchers group it's a very active group but we're also on instagram at inst uh, catch the fire worship flags and if you are on instagram too follow us there and we have special hash two ha special hashtags just for the fire catchers so hashtag fire catchers and hashtag worship anywhere let's explode all over social media with this with the worship renaissance of fire worship flags let's get it out there so if you are on instagram post uh, when you're posting use ha hashtag fire catchers and hashtag worship anywhere also if you're on pinterest and i don't there's a lot of you on pinterest and i know that that's my favorite time waster uh, that worship that pinterest also uses uh hashtags so hashtags fire catchers and if you follow us, Catch the Fire Worship Flags, you will also notice that we have, our, we're just kind of really getting that board going. I've had my personal board for a long time, so now we're getting the business board going. We have uh, a lot of praise garments and uh, Christian gifts, the worship flags, the colors, uh, a lot of things that will be help you in your worship lifestyle church potlucks. We want to share all this stuff with you. Also, we have a a group just for a, a joint group so you're welcome to join us uh, on that group on the group board and pin uh, worship flags related stuff there so we're gonna get that going that's hashtag fire catchers and then follow us join us uh, in on Pinterest get catch the fire worship flags we are also on YouTube I post less on YouTube more in the future um, but there's training videos there is little excerpts and clips of of the worshiping with the flags there's some there is some teaching there and then again our website which you're aware of the catch the fire worship flags.com uh, for for new exciting uh, products as well as a blog we have a blog there and I just wanted to let you know the identity collection when I was talking with Rosie and Carianna yesterday they I was just mentioning our identity collection has been selling out so much. We actually have sold out several of the worship flags because you really do love the identity collection. I'm so pleased. We So we're sold out of the Holy and Anointed. We're sold out of the, the Powerful Witness. We are sold out. There's another one that we're sold out of. And we're, we're low quantities on some of the others. So now is the time to get it. And the whole collection will not be available after October 31st. And Rosie said, what? It's already that fast? Yeah, it's already that fast. So we will be, be um, get it now. I'll post the link, that's on the website. Uh, and I'm thinking that's it. Otherwise I can just keep talking and then I'm gonna ramble. I'm not gonna do that. So I love you guys. I'll see you in the group. We'll see you in the fire catchers classroom. We'll see you in the gratitude challenge and at the book club. Again, that's Worship Warrior, I know it's backwards, but Worship Warrior uh, by Chuck Pierce. We'll have all the links for you. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. Bye.